we're plagued by a number of neurodegenerative disorders in our society, and some of these include Parkinson's, dystonia, or even essential tremors. Actually, the three that I just named are classified as movement disorders, which, believe it or not, attack movement in the body. They attack the basal ganglia and substantia nigra regions by exciting the neurons, and essentially change the synaptic impulses required for normal movement. This leads to involuntary twitching of muscles, cardiovascular problems, along with all other sorts of symptoms. And so far to treat patients with diseases such as Parkinson's or dystonia, we have been using drugs such as L-DOPA to help lessen the effect of the disease. But we have noticed that the drug sometimes becomes less effective over time. Is there a better treatment? Deep brain stimulation, or DBS in short, can help treat motor symptoms, such as tremors, for a longer period of time. Let me show you how. Neurosurgeons insert an electrode into the globus pallidus region deep in the brain, because that leads directly to the thalamus, which is responsible for sending motor signals to the rest of the body. That electrode is then wired to a pulse generator just placed under the collarbone. The pulse generator sends an electric impulse to the electrode, which in turn stimulates the neurons in the region. This alters neural functioning, and modifying the activity of the excited areas can help treat movement issues. Parkinson's patients, for example, have a lot of tremors in all parts of their bodies, but usually noticed in the appendages and head. Take a look at this. A man who has no DBS treatment versus a man with DBS treatment. There's a big difference. So what we've looked at so far is just scratching the surface of DBS and its possible neuromodulation treatments. Other movement disorders can be treated by stimulating the subthalamus or ventral intermediate nucleus. Further than just that, there are possibilities that DBS could expand to treat neuropsychiatric illnesses, such as PTSD, OCD, or other trauma-induced illnesses. Emotions arise from the limbic cortex, and illnesses such as trauma arise from the amplified fight-or-flight response from the amygdala or infralimbic cortex. The major setback is that performing DBS requires the risk of surgery and inhibition of action potentials from neurons. This is because what we're doing is considered invasive DBS, but using magnetic resonance to create non-invasive methods of deep brain stimulation is a hot research initiative in labs across the world. So with the advent of deep brain stimulation in the late 1900s, we have come a long way but we still have a really long way to go. That is a path that will unravel many breakthroughs in understanding our minds.